Hey friends, I'm Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I will test another CarPlay adapter from the MIC company. Now just a few days back I tested the HDMI box uh, CarPlay adapter from this MIC company and today I've got this another uh, CarPlay device uh, but the big difference between this one and the one that I tested earlier is that this one is actually a closed Android system device versus the previous one. Uh, and that's why you will find a huge price difference as well. Now, this one is called the Car Smart Box. This is again from the MIC company who are quite famous for making great car multimedia accessories, things like car screens, uh, car play devices, and many other accessories. Now, as I said earlier, this device runs on Android 8 closed system. Now, what I mean by closed system is that you will find a few apps pre-installed onto this device so you cannot install any more apps that's why it's called the closed system device now this device has a rockchip 332 quad core cpu it's got 2 gb of ram and about 8 gb of uh, internal storage but uh, you can connect a sd memory card uh, to expand the memory uh, to play video or music uh, it also has the wireless CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto functionality. Uh, it's got things like Bluetooth calling and Bluetooth music. Um, there, there are pre-installed apps like uh, YouTube, Netflix. It also has the mobile screen mirroring, which I really like. Uh, but as I said earlier, this is a closed Android operating system. So if you are looking for just things like CarPlay and Android Auto and some apps like YouTube, Netflix, then uh, this is a uh, you know, perfect device for you because this is uh, not as expensive as a full CarPlay AI box. Um, now uh, let's first do the unboxing uh, to check out the contents of this uh, MIC smart box adapter and then we will take this out to my car and uh, test all the different functions and features. So keep watching guys. Now this is a device, we'll come back to this in a while. Let's uh, check out the other contents in the box. Uh, now it also comes uh, with uh, a USB cable to connect the device with the car. Now this is a USB-C to USB-A, uh, you know, mostly used in Japanese cars. But uh, if your car has a Type-C connection like mine, then you would need to attach this converter adapter like this. And then one end goes into the device and the other end goes into the system of your car. Now this is probably one of the smallest device that um, I've seen. Uh, it's very, very lightweight and compact. Again, this is all plastic body uh, like most of the other CarPlay devices. It's a rugged design. Um, at the back, you've got enough spacing for ventilation so the device doesn't heat up. Um, now in terms of the connections you've got the USB-C connection here for the device uh, for the cable uh, to the car and then on the other end you've got a slot for the SD memory card. Alright so quite a simple device uh, again the, the, the design overall is uh, nothing special it's a standard design. Now let me take this out connect it uh, with my car and then we will test the different functions and features of this smart box from MIC. So keep watching guys. All right friends, so I've got this uh, MIC smart box ready with me. Now I'll connect this with the system of my car using the cable that connects to this USB-C. And at the same time, we will also see how long does this device take to start and get to the main home page uh, of uh, uh, Android. So I've got my stopwatch ready here. Now let me first connect this device to my car. Okay, and then let's start the timer. Okay, so about 23 to 24 seconds, uh, which is quite nice. All right, so this is the main home page of uh, this uh, smart box from MIC. Uh, it looks quite nice. You might find a few of these icons stretched, 
uh, and they're not actually stretched that's the way they are designed you can compare it with these regular box icons so this is all good um, now let me take you through the layout here so on top left you've got the home uh, and the connections here you can see i've inserted sd memory card that's why this icon is appearing uh, on the left side you've got media and these uh, four apps and on the right side you've got these six apps so in this case it has all the standard apps that people uh, use most often in cars things like wireless carplay wireless android auto netflix youtube and so on so in order to test this smart box today what we will do in this video is go through these functions and see how well they respond or perform uh, in my car all right so the first thing i will test on this device is the wireless carplay so we click on this app connect you see these different options appearing first we will click on apple carplay uh, next step is go on your iphone open the bluetooth uh, and then we should be able to see a new device as Hibox appear on the screen. There you go. So click on that. And then on the screen, you should see that the device has started the connection. We click on Use CarPlay. And now in a few seconds, we should be able to see the home page of Apple CarPlay on the screen. And, you know, you just have to do it once because next time you switch on the car, it automatically detects the connection and takes you to the home page of Apple CarPlay. And this is only the first time it takes a little bit longer the next time you switch on it's quite fast all right so this is the main uh, standard home page of apple carplay now in this video i will not explain the different functions and features of carplay if you want to know more about this you can go and watch my other videos uh, but as you can see all these apps are uh, installed on my uh, iphone and that's why they're appearing here you know there are some apps which are not compatible with the with apple carplay things like facebook tiktok and instagram they would not appear here so these are all the standard apps uh, you know we can test a few uh, let's see siri hey siri uh, play some music all right shuffling music from your library all right so the music is playing let's see okay steering wheel controls are also working with this device that's uh, really nice okay let's go and uh, stop the music uh, hey siri Call Ibster. Let's see if they can make a Calling call. Alright, so my mobile is off. That's why this message. Alright, so the calling is also working. Uh, Siri is working. Music is working. So all good with the uh, Apple CarPlay. So alright, so now let's test the wireless Android Auto. So we connect. Uh, so we click on this app Connect again, and now we select Android Auto, and then. We have to follow the same steps so basically go to the android mobile and we should be able to see high box appearing here so connect with uh, high box pair it and now in a few seconds we should be able to see the home page of uh, android auto appear on the screen all right so this is the android auto home page in fact this is not the home page this is a split screen view uh, this is the home page now so this is the main home page of android auto now this is the new android auto cool walk version because i've uh, upgraded my mobile uh, that's why you see the new version uh, now you can change the look and feel of android auto you can go to the settings change the wallpaper and so on uh, now i will not explain all the different functions and features of android auto in this video if you want to know more about it you can go and watch my other videos uh, the only point of me showing this is to see whether android auto is working with this device now let's move on and go test some other apps so we click on exit go back to the main home page of android all right so the next one i would like to test is uh, the video playback through the sd memory card so i've inserted sd memory card this card has quite a few of the videos uh, and i will very quickly play some videos because i don't want to get a copyright hit uh, because these are movies but just want to see if they're playing fine so this one is playing quite nicely now one way to test the performance of any of these kind of device is actually see how long it takes when you skip scenes in a movie so for example, if you skip, it instantly moves. Once again, when you move, uh, when you skip, it is like that. Uh, and that's a good thing about any device. Um, you know, it's quite fast when you move from uh, one scene to another. Uh, let's test this one last video. Uh, as you can see, it's playing quite nicely, very smooth. 
no lag or any sort of buffering, no interruption. So the video playback on the SD card is, is quite nice on this device. Now you can also connect your mobile through the Bluetooth to, you, to make calls or to play music. These are the two options for those. Um, and you can play Netflix and YouTube. For that, you have to connect the device with the mobile hotspot. Uh, this device does not have a SIM card, so you can't insert a data SIM card, uh, but you can always connect the device with the in a, a mobile hotspot, uh, which we will do now. So let's go to the network, internet, uh, switch it on, and then I will connect this. Uh, at the moment, I will connect it with my home because I'm getting that signal. Uh, but you know if you're outside you can always switch on the hotspot on your mobile and connect it with that all right so the device is now connected with my internet let's go back home and now let's test youtube all right let's play this video here all right so this is youtube uh, video is uh, playing smoothly um, no lag or buffering so far uh, let's blow this up to get full screen and um, again it's playing uh, quite nicely now let's see if we can increase the resolution so it's playing at 480p uh, and let's change it to 720 at least okay as you can see 720 uh, is quite clear and crisp uh, colors are also nice you can also increase that to 1080p uh, but you know in a small screen like this uh, you know you would not see much difference when it comes to clarity 720 is quite clear uh, so you don't need to overload YouTube when it's playing uh, videos while as you can see this is 1080p and it's still playing very nicely smoothly no interruption at all um, so YouTube playing quite nicely on this device now let's go to Netflix and check that out click Netflix Okay, let's play this video. All right, so now let's try to skip scenes. Okay, that's nice. Again, when you're skipping scenes on videos and it's this fast, it tells you the speed of the device, um, which is quite good uh, in this case. So instant switch to the scene. Say instant, which is very, very nice. And as you can see, the quality of even Netflix is quite nice. This is obviously not 4K, uh, but very high definition videos. Uh, quite nice, smooth, no buffering, no lag. So I keep on getting this one question from my viewers, and that is, can we watch videos while driving? Now, this device allows video in motion. So you can actually have video content running while the car is in motion. However, I do not recommend you guys to watch videos while you're driving. You know, your family can watch it, but you should not watch video content while driving. It's extremely dangerous. All right, friends. So the last thing I would like to show you is one of my favorite features in this device, which is the mobile screen mirroring. So we click on this app connect. We select mirroring option. And then on your mobile, let's select iphone but you can do this on android as well uh, on the iphone just drop down from top right and select this screen mirroring option then you'll find this new device appearing click on that and then you will see that the screen is mirrored now this is uh, definitely one of my favorite feature with this device and you can also see that there isn't much lag maybe a tiny microsecond but it's quite nice so that's it friends uh, this was a very quick review of this uh, mini carplay smart box from mic company if you are interested uh, you can just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the maker's website where you can buy this new uh, mini carplay smart box from mic